Well hi guys, I'm back again. Uh, sorry it's been so long but uh, I've had a few projects a uh, few projects on the go. Uh, one of them being a sound unit for my uh, 5 inch logo. I've put the uh, potentiometer in a in a little Tupperware box but uh, yeah if you, if you excuse the uh, crude wiring but we're going to sort that out when, uh, when everything's finished. Uh, I've, as you see I've got a speaker here and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start the unit first by putting it in gear which as you can hear it goes in gear so I'm going to do this demonstration stationary with the uh, with the speed controller for the motor switched off so you can hear what it sounds like stationary so let's start the thing up it's quite loud um, now this speaker on the uh, on my camera is not going to pick up the bass but it is actually quite bassy so you get you do get a nice rumble from the motor so there's the motor started Let's put it in gear and let's go notch one, notch two, notch three, and notch four. See, it comes down all the sounds. But what I can do is rev it up to four and come down to say notch two. So there it is at full, full volume, uh, full rev. I'll bring it down to two. is ticking away down again Back to tick over and we'll put the handbrake on. You can see all the air escaping when we put the handbrake on. And then the air generator will start up. Here it is. This is only when it's in handbrake mode you get a little bit of air escaping. There we go. Let's take the handbrake off. And now let's shut it down. So there you go, that's the uh, sound unit and then it will just sit there sort of uh, blowing air every so often. So I'm going to be making these sound units for 5 inch gauge, uh, 7 and a quarter and also they should be small enough for uh, gauge 1 as well. Now uh, I'm not going to sell you know, the, the potentiometer, I'm actually going to design it so it will work with uh, a 4QD controller or a potentiometer with uh, or radio control, uh, stuff like that. So what you'll get, you won't get it in the Tupperware box, you'll actually get it in a proper uh, project box. So I'm, I'm looking to build these uh, with an amplifier from uh, Maplins. Uh, as you hear it's, it's quite loud, all you've got to do is add a, add a speaker and your controller. And I'm looking to retail these probably around the £160 mark, which uh, is actually quite good uh, considering something of this quality on the market these days is well over 300 pounds about 350 pounds and the good thing about this system is it all runs off an SD card for sound so um, what I can do is take the SD card out put another one in 
uh, and I will uh, actually have all new sounds so uh, I can completely change the sound of my loco. I'm going to be making steam ones as well which works off a, uh, a magnet to, uh, to achieve the chuff but they'll, they'll be uh, real recorded sounds as well. So um, yeah that's what I've been up to recently. So uh, I hope to get you, give you an update soon because uh, we've now got the motor sorted out. We've got the speed controller with the motor. Uh, we've got the uh, controller system working and now the sound system. Uh, as you see we've got two batteries on, uh, matched batteries, so uh, uh, delivering the same sort of power. So I'm hoping fairly soon we can actually get all this wiring tidied up and uh, wire it up properly and start working on the, uh, on the detailing like the um, the detailing on the on the framework and the actual bodywork itself so hopefully uh, I'll give you an update soon on uh, what's going on with there thanks for watching see you soon